So if you're single or a young professional, where is it that you need to be living in Charlotte to have quite a bit of fun and really enjoy your experience? Hey there, I'm Kayla Lindsay with the True Lane Group. If you're looking for everything Charlotte and the surrounding areas, from schools to work to business to what's going on in the housing market and everything happening with restaurants and fun, you're in the right spot. Make sure to like and subscribe or we're gonna put out even more content for you to make sure you know exactly what's going on in Charlotte. Today we're talking all about neighborhoods for singles and young professionals. Now, why do I bring this up? This is something that I wish I had when I first moved to Charlotte. In fact, I had no idea where I needed to move to. And of course, everything looks the same when you're looking online, looking to rent a property. Well, here's what I learned. There are several different neighborhoods of Charlotte that you need to be looking in to make sure that you are maximizing, having a lot of fun, and I'm gonna point out exactly why. Make sure to tune in till the end because I'm gonna give you actually a sneak peek in a neighborhood that most people don't know about that actually might be perfect for you. So we're gonna start our trip at number one. Now this is a twofer. It's Belmont and Plaza Midwood. Now a lot of people get confused because yes, there is a town called Belmont, which is just west of the city. However, right outside of Plaza Midwood, there's a very small community and neighborhood called Belmont. Now this area is still being regentrified, which means that you can get into this neighborhood if you're choosing to purchase for less than the surrounding areas. In fact, if you jump right over the line into Plaza Midwood, you're going to see prices go quite a bit up when it comes to purchasing and even renting. So why Belmont and Plaza Midwood? Well, aside from the fact that they've got adorable properties, cute little bungalows and Victorians all throughout, it's also really close to everything you wanna do. Shopping, dining, and nightlife. That's right, there are several breweries as well as restaurants and shops in walking distance. In fact, Plaza Midwood and Belmont are some of the most walkable neighborhoods in Charlotte, having just about everything you need in walking distance. Now here's a cool fun fact about Charlotte. We also have quite a bit of scooters. Now you might be thinking your old Razor scooter from back in school, well these are actually motorized scooters you can connect to your phone and zip around town if you are tired of walking. Plaza Midwood as well as Belmont of course offer these opportunities but it's also right under the beautiful skyscape or cityscape of Charlotte. That's right, it's just outside of Charlotte, right outside the 277 Beltline. So if you need to commute, you might be able to even ride your bike. But like I said, there's a lot to do. There's actually greenways nearby. And in addition to that, if you're looking for a quiet, lazy Sunday morning, there are quite a few brunch spots that are also right in the Plaza Midwood area. This would include Snooze, as well as Workman's Friend, an old Irish pub and restaurant, which has a phenomenal breakfast menu. Now, if you're looking for more of a brewery, Legion Brewery right up the street, as well as Catawba Brewery, and there's also Free Range, which is just down the street. Really, whatever you're looking for, you're going to be able to find in walking distance of where you live. But what's the biggest reason why I put this on the top five list? Here it is. Because it's a very walkable part of town, you're actually gonna be able to get out and meet people. That's right, most of the bars and restaurants and locations to hang out have outdoor dining, outdoor seating, and it's actually a place where people do come together, listen to live music, and get to know one another. So if you're new to the area and you're not sure where to go, plug yourself right in on a weekend or after hours in Plaza Midwood and Belmont and you will meet people and be able to make some friends in a new place. That brings us to our second location, Dilworth. Dilworth is more of an upscale location. If you're not looking for more of the hippie hangout with music and bars and lots of things happening, Dilworth slows things down just a little bit and it is a little bit more expensive. You are gonna find areas where you've got little shops and boutiques and fantastic restaurants. I just can't even. Uh, 131 Main is absolutely delicious and there's also some other restaurants on the main strip through Dilworth. Now, what are some things that attract young professionals and singles to this area? 
Well, like I had mentioned, it's a little bit slower. Things go a little bit more calm. It's not much of the bar scene. There's not as many people out and about in clusters, but there is a lot of outdoor activity. In fact, with the greenways and parks and walkways and sidewalks, etc., it's still a very walkable community to many of the things that you need. In addition to that, they also have some more upscale restaurants, dining, as well as food shopping, and they do have also some wine restaurants in the area as well. Now, of course, if you're in the mood still for some fast food-esque food, there is a great little area in Dilworth in the crossroads where you're gonna find things like burger joints and your Starbucks, Brick's Pizza, things of that nature. But there's also some great taco places in this area. I love tacos and I love Italian. Dolce Italian Restaurant is just walking distance to Dilworth in that area. And I would say it's probably the number one restaurant for Italian in Charlotte. Don't skip the gnocchi or the delicious tiramisu. You will be missing out. Our next stop on our journey is going to be Elizabeth, and that is number three. The neighborhood of Elizabeth is also quaint and historic. It's also, if you take a look at the map of Charlotte, it's right outside of downtown where most of the locations we're mentioning are. Why is this? Well, once again, it's walkable. The neighborhoods and the homes are absolutely adorable. And the pricing is really not all that bad. If you're moving into the area and you're looking to purchase, you can find a condo that is simply in the 200 to 300, depending upon what you're looking for. And if you're looking to purchase a home, you're probably looking in the $500,000 range. Now, here's some of the cool things about Elizabeth. Elizabeth is actually home to the oldest streetcars in Charlotte. That's right, that's where we got its start and it has spread. Of course, like I had spoken about in some of my earlier videos, Charlotte is making sure that we increase our opportunities for transit and go a little bit more green. Some things to do in the Elizabeth area. Of course, you've got boutiques and shopping and of course, restaurants and food. Can you tell where my mind is at? I love the food in Charlotte. But some of the things that people don't know about, there's also some great theater. The CPCC campus, which is our local college, actually has theater productions that they put on throughout the year that you can go and enjoy. There's local parks as well as a really cool location that you need to check out, which is a really old little church. It's absolutely adorable. It sits right on the outskirts of 277, but it connects right into the Greenway, which leads you to Freedom Park and other such locations. In addition, there is a hidden gem also in Elizabeth. Some of my favorite and top restaurants would have to be, of course, my favorite, the Cajun Queen, which is phenomenal if you love Cajun food, but there's also a great little Asian restaurant right across from the CPCC campus that cannot be missed. And one of my other favorites, if you're looking for Peruvian style chicken, this is more of a takeout or dine-in, a little bit lower, lower scale if you're looking for not having to dress up and go out, which is Viva Chicken. I highly recommend checking them out. That brings us to our fourth stop in our journey of the top five locations for you as a young professional in Charlotte, North Carolina to live. We come to First Ward. Now, First Ward is within the Charlotte 277 Beltline, and some of the biggest things that bring people to this location, of course, is the location itself. That's right, it's right inside the Beltline in downtown, which means commuting to work for anything that you do in that area is gonna be simple and easy. In addition to that, First Ward still has very reasonable rents as well as purchase prices for townhouses and condos. There really aren't many single family homes in this area, however, it still is an accessible area to you if you're moving into the area. Now, one thing many people don't think about, but because you're in the city center, it's actually a great location to be for convenience. You can go see basketball games, concerts, head downtown, go watch the Panthers play, go to the Blumenthal Theater and see some beautiful performances which trade in and out throughout the year. There's so much that you can do and all of it is right there. In addition to that, you might find that some of your neighbors do Airbnb. Why? Because it's such a desirable location, especially when big events come into town, that everybody wants to be there. It's definitely a place if you're looking to have a little bit of action and truly live in the city of Charlotte, this is a place to be and it's a very friendly neighborhood. Now this brings us to our fifth and final location if you are in the Charlotte area looking for a neighborhood to live in if you are single or a young professional, South End. 
South End, honestly, it should be number one on my list. If I were to move here to Charlotte again, I was a young professional, this is exactly where I'd go. Here's why. South End sits just south of the city of Charlotte, if you were to look at a map. And one of the coolest aspects to this is the rail trail. That's right, Charlotte does have a rail system that runs, it's only for pedestrians um, or for individuals. It runs all the way down to the south point of Charlotte and all the way up into the university. That's right, it lands and stops right in the middle of UNC Charlotte. So why is South Bend the location I would recommend? Well, it's where everything comes to a head. That's right. Not only do you have the rail system, but you also have something called the rail trail. It is one of the most popular areas for people to go running, jogging, hang out with friends, walk your dog. But of course, as I mentioned, we also have these great scooters. You can actually scooter up and down the rail trail to different breweries such as Sycamore, to our billiards area. We've actually got a billiards uh, hall, which is right on the rail trail. We've got live music and it's close to other places like ramen bars and right off of South Boulevard. Now, South Boulevard has a ton of shopping and restaurants. In addition to that, it flanks off of Dilworth, which we just talked about. So if you want to have the feel of Dilworth, but you want to kind of step it up a little bit and have a little bit more activity, you can jump right into South End. Now, in addition to that, there's also some great options for eating healthy and here's the cool part there is still some really great affordable properties in the South End area. Now, while most people that move into that area are renting, because there are a ton of available apartments in that area, there are still some great townhouses, condos, and homes that are in South End that are still of reasonable price. So, here's the last piece of information I'm gonna give you. I highly recommend taking a look at every single one of these different neighborhoods and figure out what you like best. The coolest thing about all of them, you can drive to the one that you like and you can just hang out. You don't necessarily have to live in that neighborhood, but it's always good to know where you can go to to find exactly what you need. I'm Kayla Lindsay with The True Lane Group. Whether you're relocating, already live here, just want more information, we're here to help. Make sure to like and subscribe for everything about Charlotte, and we look forward to helping you here in the future.